Hey guys, so I'm here today. I'm super excited to be sharing with you my best of beauty for 2019. I have been doing these videos the past like two years, so definitely check those down below to see past years. I do a skincare one as well, which is coming up in this week, so definitely subscribe and stay tuned for that. I am super excited to share with them with you. They are my holy grails. I've used them throughout this entire year and I Highly, highly recommend them. There's some drugstore and some high-end ones, so there is something on each range. So I'm doing these in no particular order. These are all my favorites, and I use them a lot almost every single time I do my makeup. So let's get started with the top of this little basket that I made to share with you guys. So my first one is on top is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I honestly didn't use this much 2018, but 2019, guys, I've been getting some use out of this, and I love this. It has the perfect shades for my skin tone, and you can lighten it, darken it, and I love this. It has the best contour shade. I love that I can use a bronzer, and then I don't really use these ones that much, but I do really love these two. And then when I get a little darker in the summer, I can use this as the bronzer, but I love these. The powders are so nice. I did contour and my bronzer with this, so I do love this. Highly, highly recommend. They do sell them in singles now, so I would say get a palette and buy the colors you want, because I don't use all the colors, so I would, if I could redo it, I would just buy the two shades that I really love, the contour and the bronzer one. Those are the shadow play and subconscious, so I would just buy those. To go along with that, my ultimate favorite bronzer is the Too Faced bronzer, and I love this, you guys know, you actually like it if you're gonna hit pan on it. So I love this. I want to try to finish this up in 2019. Hopefully I can. Just face products last forever, I feel like, guys. So I am going to try to get through this, but this is my favorite. It's like the perfect shade for me. It's the medium deep, and it just blends into my skin so nicely. So highly, highly recommend this. My next one is the Anastasia Glow Kit, the sun-dipped one. I love this palette. I'm not really into any of the other palettes of like the shades so I don't know I love this one though I can wear all of them I don't really use this brown one as much but I love these this one's super nice in the summer this one's nice too it still goes on my face really nicely and isn't too dark and I love these the pans are huge so they have lasted me so long and highly highly recommend Anastasia's highlights they're just so nice and creamy and buttery and they're so pretty so I have been loving my glow kit lately. To go along with highlights, my other favorite highlight is the Becca highlights. This is the Champagne Pop one. This one's so pretty. I have tried the Persico Pop, but I love the Champagne Pop more for my skin color, and it's so pretty and buttery, and I love it, and highly recommend Becca highlights as well. They're just so nice. Another one I would recommend that I really haven't been using much in 2019, but I do love it, is the Ofra ones. I honestly have no idea where that one is. But I do love that one. It's a little much sometimes, so I don't use it that often. But the Glow Kit one and the Becca ones are really good for daily use. If you want, like, that nice subtle glow, I'm wearing the... I think I'm wearing the Anastasia one today. So, yeah, I do love it. It's not too much, but it still looks really pretty. So, highly recommend those. The palettes that I've been loving in 2019 is the Soft Glam by Anastasia. Guys, I'm making a good dent in the sultry color right here. I'm sad. I'm trying to start using the other color so I don't just get through that one. But these are so, so pretty. You can use them for daily looks as well as nice, like, nighttime glam looks. So I love this palette, and I've been using it almost every time I've done my makeup. I have been going across the board wearing my other eyeshadows so I can get through some, but I reach for this one when I know I want a good eyeshadow look, so I love that. My next one I've been loving for like day-to-day -day use is the Tarlet in Bloom. Guys, these shadows blend like a dream. They're so nice. I would highly recommend this for beginners because it just is so pretty. My favorite to put on my eyelid is the Firecracker shade right here, and it's so nice. Like, I have to think about what palettes to bring to Italy. I'm really trying to just bring one, but I might have to bring two. We will see. I love this one. I would highly think about bringing this one. I don't know. I just love some of my other ones, too. But, yes, I still have to decide on that. That's another story in itself, but I love the Tartlet in Bloom. I have seen the Tartlet, the first one, and I'm not really into that one, but I do like the in Bloom one. It has a nice big mirror on it, and the shadows are just so nice. They blend so well, 
and I can create really pretty looks with this. Guys, I talked about this in my haul. If you watch that, this is my favorite ultimate favorite eye curler, eyelash curler. And guys, you wouldn't think that any eyelash curler would be superior to another one, but this one is. This one's so nice. It has a nice little spring in it, and it just curls my lashes so well. The shape of it, too, is, like, perfect for my eyes. So, I don't know. I love this one. It's the Tarte one. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I love it. It lasts me a long time. I did break my other one because I think I used it so much, but it lasts me over a year. So, I highly recommend this one, and I don't know. I have this drop and this one down here, and I just don't like it. Look, the spring is not good. See? No. So, I love this one, and I will always forever buy this one. My next product is my sponge. I used this today, so it is very dirty, but I love this. It's the Real Techniques one. It is so affordable. It's like four bucks, and it's the best. Like, it's so squishy, and I know some sponges, they're a little hard, and I do not like that, but I love these. I would compare this 100% to a beauty blender. I would buy this any day over a beauty blender, so I really love this one, and it does my makeup so well, and I like the shape because it has this good flat surface I can do my face so quickly and then also do my under eye with the pointed end and carve my contour and bronzer so love this highly highly recommend my next product is the Anastasia Brow Wiz you guys know I rave about this and I buy backups of it anytime it's on sale I have it in chocolate and I love it it just does my brow so well and I love this product I've tried the pomade and that was a little too much for me but this one's like the perfect I love the spoolie at the end and this will forever probably be my favorite eyebrow pencil I love it to primers really quick I have been loving the Becca ever matte poreless priming perfecter you guys know I've been using this a long time so I do love this and it's lasted me so long to the point that's kind of questionable but I'm gonna still use it and it just keeps me matte. I just put it up here. I occasionally put it right here, but honestly, I haven't done that in a long time. But I do love this, and it's lasted me so long, so I highly recommend it. If you are oily, because it helps a lot, I would not suggest putting it all over your face because it makes it kind of crusty and pill weird on your face. So just put it on the areas you need it, and it will work magically. And like I said, I am oily, but I do love using this moisturizing product with it. I usually put the matte primer on my forehead first and then put on the moisturizing one and this has been my favorite. It's been a game changer and it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's primer plus moisturizer in one and I love this. You guys know like I literally am almost done with it. I already bought a second one I've been using. I should probably try to finish this one but I love this and it's like a dream. Even if I have oily skin, I don't know what. It just makes my makeup go on really well, and it doesn't make me extra oily, and I love it. I would highly recommend this one. It is a little pricier, but try to get it on a sale or something, and it's worth it. My next one is my mascaras. I have been loving the Monsieur Big by Longcomb. This is a sample size. I have not got myself to buy a full size one. I've just been getting sample ones, and I love it. The brush on here is so nice and large. And I really like when they're more larger and thick like this. And I love this one. To go along with it, I love this Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. It has about the same brush, but it's so nice and affordable. This one's from the drugstore, so if you are on a budget, buy this one. It's so nice. I love the packaging. It's so cute and pink. I like to pair it with a lengthening one, so I have been using the Mary Kay Lash Love one. And I would just recommend anyone that has like small bristles like this to layer it on. So I love using a volumizing one first and then a lengthening one, and it's like the perfect duo. But my ultimate favorite volumizing ones are the Lash Paradise and the Longcomb one. On to lipsticks. You guys know I say this literally every favorites video, but these are my ultimate favorite. It's the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Glosses. These are so nice. I do not know why more people don't rave about these. They are fully pigmented. They are not drying, and they're just so nice. Like, look at this. You guys ready? Like, look at that. That is crazy. You cannot get that great of quality and pigmentation with anything that is that good. And it's moisturizing. It does not dry your lips out, and that's what I love the most. I get so annoyed of those lipsticks that make your lips dry, because I hate that. Like, why would I put myself through that just to get 
lips that are colored but then they look super crusty. So these get your lips looking really good and I just love these and I will forever use these. I have so many colors. I have a whole bunch of the mini ones and then I have two of the big sizes but yeah they're just so nice and you can wear them almost like every day because they are very neutral colors and I love these. I like to pair the lighter one in the middle to plump up my lips and yeah I just highly highly recommend those and you guys know I'm very picky with lip products so 10 out of 10 recommend. My favorite eyeliner I've been using the past year is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I have backups of these and I love these. These are liquid and it just goes on so well. They do get a little extra wet sometimes so I have a Kleenex with right by and I dab it on it every once in a while. And sometimes it has exploded when I got into Colorado so make sure you know not to do it by the floor or anywhere because it will explode sometimes. But this is so nice. Like I use this for so long and it does not dry up and I don't know. I love it. It doesn't bleed and I do love this a lot. I said that like five times but this is my ultimate favorite. I've tried so many other liquid liners and they have not compared to this so 100% recommend and you guys know it's a drugstore one so that's super nice. My next product I've been using is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. I love this product. I also do love the NARS one, but I have not been using it this past year because I ran out of it, so I don't want to mention it this time, but I did buy one, so that might be in my next 2020 Best of Beauty, but I have been using this one a lot, and I've loved it. I have been using some NYX ones too, and I've been liking those too, but I like the Naked Skin one. It's just so nice and light and still covers. My ultimate favorite foundation I've been using the past year is the Forever Dior Foundation. This is a game changer. I have a video of me trying this and it's crazy. I'm using it today and it does my full coverage that I love but so light. Like I barely fear the fear. I barely feel this on my face at all. Like yes I do feel that I am wearing makeup but it's so much lighter than any other foundation I've ever tried and still gives me that coverage that I like. So I love this. It does have some skincare in this which is also really nice so I do think it is worth the price just because it has the skincare benefits in it as well as the nice coverage and lightness that I love. It lasts all day and highly highly recommend this one. It's my ultimate favorite. Almost done guys. My ultimate favorite powder that I use, you guys know I've recommended this in literally any video that I could and it's the Laura Mercier powder. It is a little expensive. It's like 38 bucks but I think it's so worth the price out of like almost anything in this. This is worth the price the most and it just gives you the flawless look ever. I know that's not a word. Okay it gives you the most flawless look ever and with my like medium complexion it does not leave a weird white cast that I've had a lot of times with other powder so this is so nice it does have a small tint on it obviously it does also have a darker version for if you are even darker than I am and I love this it just blends into your skin so nicely it makes your skin look like skin it does not give a flashback on it and I I highly recommend this for the price and how much product you actually get in here is so nice it lasts me over like a year every time I've used it so I probably won't have to buy another one until 2021 so Love, love this one. And I cannot rave about it more than I already have. Okay, my last product is, I don't know if I should have put this in my skincare or my beauty one, but I love the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatments. I bought three backups. I've already gone through one full one now since that time, so I'm on my second one, but I love this. It's the clear version. I don't really like the ones that are not clear because, I don't know, when I want to put chapstick on, I just want it clear, so I love this. It is a little expensive for a chapstick, but you guys know, like I said, I'm very picky with my lip products, so the ones that work, I am willing to spend a little more on them, and I love this. It has SPF in it, which is really nice, and I highly recommend them if you do have problems with chap lips and stuff. It doesn't have like that weird thing in it that I've heard and seen online that it makes you addicted to it. It just like, actually heals your lips and doesn't make you keep going back like Carmex and all those other brands I've heard of. So I highly recommend this one. And like I said, I love the brand Fresh and it's just, I love this product. Out of all the lip products I've ever tried, I would highly recommend this and it is worth the price. Yes, it's expensive, but you can try to find a sale on it and stock up then. So highly, highly recommend. Oh guys, that was a long video. I haven't done a long video in a long time. So I had a lot of fun sharing with you my ultimate favorite makeup products. They are highly worth the price of whatever price range it is at. And they are my favorite, so I would pick them over any other product. 
that I have and I buy backups of them so they are my ultimate favorite. So I hope you guys liked watching this and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye guys!